Hello everyone, this is uh, Antonio from Random Stuff and um, I couldn't resist, I had to uh, try and uh, install a stock ROM for my LG G2 D802. If you look here at the um, notifications, you can see these are the Lollipop uh, style notifications and if we go into the settings, we'll see I've actually installed this uh, Acura uh, G Pro 2 ROM version 2, which I saw on um, somebody else's uh, channel on YouTube and I decided to give it a go. It's um, it's pretty st stable, it's um, you know it, it's definitely usable um, being 5.0.1 I don't know what it has which is crucial that is missing from it. Um, as you can see here the accessibilities look uh, the same as uh, in the Cloudy uh, G2.2 which is my favorite ROM, uh, still is and uh, the lock screen is pretty much the same i was expecting to see the the face unlocking here but no, none of that so couldn't do the face unlock <coughs> which is a feature that i find quite useful it's very snappy uh, the calendar never fails me uh, music is fine um, all my widgets work very good uh, they're very fast i played around with it for a while kept it for about a day day in a bit I suppose um, I, I applied a couple of uh, patches to to fix uh, the camera and uh, another issue that uh, was going on with some of the uh, settings within the phone it's, it's all mentioned on, on one of the forums and also I'll uh, put the links you see here the um, the recents uh, I did some untutored benchmarks and uh, quadrant I'll post uh, the video separately because um, it kept disconnecting. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the camera, uh, it's not too great. But I prefer the one in G2.2 uh, Cloudy. So not too um, too keen on that. That's it. This has just been a very quick one. Um, this is the Acura G Pro 2 ported ROM. Have a look at it. But it's only really for the, um, for the faint hearted because things can go wrong. And, uh, things did go wrong. I actually had no end of problems with uh, with this. Uh, I tried to remove it, and uh, I couldn't log back into the um, uh, the bootloader. The recovery wouldn't start. Um, basically, I had uh, a situation where I had a, a recovery error uh, S, uh, message. Let me see. I made a note of it here somewhere. If I just tell you what it is. Um, it's basically an error message that um, means that you can't get into the recovery. So I wasn't able to get back in there and reflash my previous ROM, which is very frustrating. Um, I went crazy, but in the end, um, the only thing that helped me was the uh, solution which I found for Auto Rec. <clears throat> One of the interesting things on, uh, on this ROM that I tried is a stock uh, G2 ROM from uh, I believe Korea or South Korea somewhere um, is that there was no baseband the baseband was not shown so I had to refresh the baseband on my phone I thought I'd bricked it at one stage uh, because I just couldn't get in I tried everything up at Phil Z recovery up at twerp different versions of twerp and different versions of Phil Z and um, I was just having no joy whatsoever I couldn't get it to uh, connect to the PC for me to add more information I tried using terminal terminal uh, emulator um, I was just about to start uh, looking into doing the ADB uh, which is a pain in the, in the neck and I didn't do that but the the auto rec uh, solution uh, did help me uh, I was able to uh, to basically flash uh, you know the, the Loki the boot image the recovery image bootloader and flashing the kernel and then you tap on uh, recovery and I was able to get back in there and then with a bit of struggle I was able to to put the um, uh, the correct ROM on there which is the Cloudy G 2.2 best ROM stay on that one that's got absolutely everything that I need a ROM to have absolutely everything but I just couldn't resist I had to try this uh, 5.0.1 as the 5.0.2 is not coming out anywhere soon and I think very soon if it doesn't come out I'm probably going to change my phone and get uh, either get the G3 or wait for the G4 if it comes out but the G2 with cloudy G2.2 is probably the best combination for me um, I hope this has helped and um, if any of you want to try 
this this ROM that I've just mentioned. The uh, I'll put the links to the to the Mega uh, Files uh, website where you have to download it. And um, it can't it can't load more than one. Uh, it can't download more than one gigabyte of uh, of data. So it will ask you to put in the uh, uh, the, the browser add-on. So you'll have to put an add-on for Mega.co.nz, which allows you to uh, download files which are larger than a, than a gig. Um, which afterwards I deleted obviously because I don't need that. The um, the ROM looked good, but it did fall short and it's not for me. So the links are below. If you really want to try it, but I suggest you do not try it uh, because the chances are you probably will get some problems. So it's up to you. Hope this has helped uh, at least to see the, um, the, uh, the Lollipop ROM, the stock one. Um, I did like um, the remote that they had on it. It was uh, quite quite nice, and uh, more there was more uh, remotes available uh, for me because I do use remotes from different countries, and uh, I don't get them on the uh, G2.2. So, if anyone has any, suge any suggestions how to get a better um, remote application for the Audi 2.2, please post it in the comments below. Thanks again, everyone. Cheers.